Hey guys, what I want to take the time to do here is to show you guys how to do your graphs. Remember, you need two graphs. You need a peak static friction versus normal force graph, and you need a kinetic friction versus normal force graph. Um, what I want to do, I'm going to do a kinetic friction versus normal force graph for you, taken from some sample data. So let's get so let's let's look at this here. This is um, some sample data um, from your lab, and so notice we have three trials here and we have the average kinetic friction you know to take the average you just add these three up and divide by three um, to get your average kinetic friction and what I want to do is I want to plot um, kinetic friction versus the normal force um, plot these values right here where it's understood that this goes on our x-axis and then this goes on our y-axis okay so when you plot these values, they're going to look something like this. Okay, let me erase this and go to the next page. So when you plot these values, this is how they're going to look like. It's going to look something like this. Remember, I'm putting normal force on my x-axis, and I'm putting kinetic friction or average kinetic friction on my y-axis. And I'm plotting, when I plot out the data, I should have three points that look something like this. Okay. And just um, this is y, and this goes on x. And I get three points that looks like this. And once I have my three points, then what you want to do, you want to draw a best fit line through those th through those three points. So my best fit line for the data kind of looks something like that. Now, once you have your best fit line, the next step is to take a slope. You guys remember how to take the slope. In order to take slope, you just, you know, basically pick pick any two points that touches the line. So let's say I'm going to pick this point right here. I'm going to call that point one. I'm going to pick this point right here, and I'm going to call that point two. Remember, you can pick any two points you want as long as they touch the line. So that's point one. And that's point two. And remember, slope slope by definition is equal to y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. Okay, so in other words, rise over run. And I want you guys to calculate that for me. Once you calculate that, what does that number actually mean? Well, if you come over here, remember the equation for the force of kinetic friction? The equation for the force of kinetic friction is equal to the coefficient of kinetic friction times the normal force. Now watch what happens, guys, when I rearrange this equation. Watch what happens when I get the coefficient of friction, in other words, when I get mu by itself. In order to get mu by itself, I basically have to divide by the normal force. So it's going to look something like this. So the force of friction, the force of kinetic friction, divided by the normal force is equal to mu. In other words, it's equal to the coefficient of kinetic friction of our surface. So, so force of friction divided by the normal force. Ah, what does that look like here? Remember, that's nothing more but the slope. Remember, the slope is um, rise over run. It's the kinetic friction, the force of kinetic friction, divided by the normal force. And when I do that, force of friction divided by the normal force that tells me mu, tells me the coefficient of friction. So in other words, guys, the number here that you get for this slope here, that's nothing more but the coefficient of friction for the surface. It tells you the roughness of your surface. Because remember, that's what the coefficient of friction means. It means magnitude of roughness. So there you have it. You should have two slopes and two graphs. There you go.